Let's talk a little bit today about mushroom making. So I am growing some mushrooms here today. Um, this is my setup. Whenever you're getting started growing mushrooms, you need a couple things. You need spores. I get my spores from mycelium and thorium. They come in a package like this. You can get, I get, I subscribe to them for a while, so I have, um, actually I have a whole bunch. Just a little background. I moved over a year ago, and I have not grown any mushrooms in a year, so this is me getting started back into the hobby. Um, it's super fun. When you get your syringes from Mycelium Emporium, if you're subscribing, you'll get like a random set every month. Uh, it's pretty cheap, like 30, 40 bucks, something like that. I can't remember, but it was not very expensive. So you'll get to test out some different kind of mushrooms. So you'll need your spores. You'll need grain jars. So this is oats and barley. And what I do is I take my oats and barley and I will boil them for uh, half an hour or so, just so that al dente, you can just kind of bite and, and there's, there's firmness. Um, but it's easy to kind of bite through a piece. And once you once you get those al dente grains done, then you put them in your jars. One of these jars has like 10 cc's, I guess those are cc's, 10 cc's in them. And you could probably do, I wouldn't do 10, I, would, I typically do uh, six, seven, eight jars whenever I do this. And I'll do a cc and a half or so for each jar. It doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, really, you don't need a whole lot at all. Um, so about a cc and a half. Now the jars, when you're making your jars, you need to have a lid that has a fresh air exchange thing in it here. And then you need to have a gasket. And what I do, I, and I think I have a video on how to make those, but the gasket is made with a uh, red RTV. So there's like a little process with this. You drill it, you drill a really tiny hole like an eighth inch hole here. And this is a, a, about a quarter inch hole. Okay, so this is kind of my work surface here. What we need, we have to have some gloves, rubber gloves. We need a lighter. We need to have our spores and our needle. We have to have isopropyl alcohol, 70%. This little contraption here, I'll show you in a minute, comes in handy. We need to have our grain jars, a Sharpie marker, tape, and then this box is a closed air box, uh, so it's very useful and easy to make, and it helps keep contamination down. Let's talk about this syringe because it can be a pain in the ass. There's a cap on the syringe, and then you have this contraption here, which is the needle, right? And the needle comes typically in a container in a little bag like this. This contraption comes in handy because sometimes th there's a cap on here right here and like I just put this on it's really tight so sometimes it's very hard to get that off with your hand so you use this little wrench and you can stick that on there and twist it right off nice and easy okay now once you get that off you rip the bag open don't touch this right because it's clean it's sterile rip the bag open like this put your needle in and twist it so it screws on. Now you have your syringe. Now, here's what you don't want to do is you don't want to grab it and pull it because what typically happens is when you're in that box, you'll pull it and then your hand just goes back and then you jab yourself in the finger. I literally just did it the other day and it, it smarts because it's a big ass needle. So what I do when I'm thinking properly is I'll grab it like this and I'll just push up with my fingers so that it can come right off, okay? Now, once you get that off, you have it upside down. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll, again, I'll grab it like this and I'll pull till some spores pop out of the top. Now, once that happens, I have spores throughout the needle. Turn it sideways, use your lighter and heat this needle up till it sizzles. Then you can turn it upside down. Once you turn it upside down, you're never supposed to turn it back up, okay? Because you don't want things going you just want to keep everything gravity fed down at that point now in your in your bar or in your bar in your box what you'll do is you'll this is sterilized because you just ran the lighter over it you'll stick 
the needle down in through this gasket and you'll go a cc and a half into the jar. And you'll do this with each jar until this is empty. Now after you get your jars inoculated, they will start to grow. Um, you got to put them in an inoculation chamber. I'll do a different video on that. But um, after four or five days, you should start seeing some growth. And let's see here. See, it's hard to tell, but you see there's like white kind of fuzz in there. Um, that means that your spores are taken and, and they're gonna, the mycelium is going to start uh, growing in the jar. Now, I have two different jars here. The one syringe, okay, so the, this is a Hawthorne Oyster, I believe. And I, I, it's over a year old. So I went through and I inoculated six jars. Only two of them took. Um, these two are the two jars it took. And then when this jar was had just had less fuzz, less growth on it than this one did, I shook it. There's this kind of idea. Some people say you should shake. Some people say you shouldn't shake. I shook. And now this jar... I have growth coming down all through this jar after I shook it. So I think I think I'm gonna start shaking them more. I'm not I'm gonna wait. I wanna see I wanna see if if they kind of grow out at the same rate, but um, I'm kind I'm kinda of curious about that. So the other four jars did not grow anything at all. After seven days I see no signs of growth. So what I did today, and this will probably make some people cringe. Um, I took two of those jars and I used an entire syringe because again, this is over a year old. I used an entire syringe of lion's mane on two jars. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see how those grow. So stay tuned for updates on that. So that's basically how I, uh, work with my mushrooms. Um, yeah, follow for more updates. We'll see how it goes.